When I went to art school in Sydney in the 1970s, it was at the very end of what I suppose you could describe as an, an academic um, era of, uh, of, of art schools. I, th I think it was actually looking back at it, um, a great time to go to art school because although I chose initially to major in painting, I still had to do a lot of sculpture and also photography and uh, screen printing and etching and a variety of other mediums as well. So I've got a very solid grounding. My work has followed many of those disciplines uh, in, uh, in recent years. So yeah, the second room is really about humani you know, uh, humanity in a fairly um, uh, conscious, direct way. And it deals with the body in various ways, the, 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 the body and human frailty with war, human frailty with uh, ideas of, 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 of ethics and morality, uh, with ideas of sexuality, uh, ideas of the transition from uh, childhood and pre-puberty through puberty into adulthood. Scar tissue, as you can see, is a work uh, of components made from knitted videotape. Um, and the videos that have been knitted are all war movies. I suppose in some wars, like the Great War and the Second World War, there's a, a, a certain sense of victory. And I suppose for any winner, there's a sense of being victorious. But uh, the whole, the, the very you know, notion of war, uh, I think, is an anathema to so many people and such, it's such a great tragedy. Uh, and of course, a great tragedy to, to the environment, which suffers along with uh, humans. So this work tries to encompass all of that. Further rooms uh, look at aspects of world well, botany, natural history, uh, and environmental politics increasingly in many of the recent works. Mm -hmm.